In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about one of the most popular marine fish in the reef aquarium hobby, the yellow tang. The yellow tang with its bold, bright yellow body makes a great addition to any reef aquarium. Yellow tangs are herbivores, so be sure to include in their diet some flake food or some kind of seaweed food like nori that will definitely benefit them and keep them healthy. Now they do accept frozen food like mysis, but they will benefit more from a strong herbivore diet. Now the yellow tang is a great utility fish that will cruise around your reef tank searching for algae to pick off of the rock work and off any equipment in your tank because in the wild they cruise the ocean and graze the rock works and they swim long distances to get their food. So that's definitely one of the reasons it's recommended to have a larger aquarium when keeping yellow tanks. Now at one point there was a ban on yellow tanks and they were pretty much impossible to find until Biota stepped up and answered the call by finding a way to captive breed yellow tanks. Having the yellow tang as a captive sustainable option in our hobby keeps them from disappearing for good. In my opinion, the yellow tang is a great beginner tang to have if you're looking to add a tang to your reef aquarium, the yellow tang is the perfect fit. They're pretty hardy as far as tangs go and they have great personalities and add character to your reef tank. Now yellow tangs can be semi-aggressive so if you're looking to add more than one tang at a time to your aquarium, be sure to add them at the same time. Now, if you're also adding a yellow tang to a reef aquarium that has another tang in it, consider using something like a tanklimate to get them acclimated to each other before just putting it in your reef aquarium. Because tangs of the same genus, like the yellow tang, which is a zebrazoma, when put together with another zebrazoma, can be more aggressive. So either add them all at the same time or take your time getting them acclimated to each other by using an acclimation box like the tanklimate. Now tangs in the reef aquarium hobby have been known to or associated with coming down with marine ick in the reef aquarium. So being concerned about marine ick, it's a good idea to quarantine any fish before you put it in its main display. Now, if you don't have a quarantine system set up, there are products out there like Safety Stop, which is a rapid fish quarantine that you can use on your fish before you introduce them into your aquarium. And that helps with bacterial infections and things of that nature. But it all starts when you are looking at your fish at a local fish store. Be sure to inspect it as close as you can. Look at all of the fins and make sure you don't see anything and that your fish is eating. Taking precautions beforehand will help set you up for success. Interesting fact about the yellow tang is that its life expectancy in the wild is over 30 years. So this fish can do very well for you and last a long time in your reef aquarium, provided you give him the right diet that they need and provide them with a large enough tank to feel comfortable and swim and cruise around your system. The yellow tang is definitely fun to sit back, relax, and enjoy in your reef aquarium. It adds a nice pop of color to any reef aquarium. And if you're looking to add more fish than just tangs to your system, I made this video right here. Go ahead and click or tap on your screen. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.